as a commandment by Jesus and the apostles, we now baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Now you think about it. If the high priest goes into the Holy of Holies without the right kind of blood, permission is replaced by punishment. Access becomes execution because you better have the right blood. That's why we baptize in the name of Jesus Christ because the blood is in the name. The blood is in the DNA of deliverance. You don't have blood in Father. You don't have blood in Son. You don't have blood in Holy Ghost. You cannot validate your baptism until you invoke the name of Jesus Christ. You gotta have the right kind of blood or your religion is dead and the glory won't come and the fire won't fall. But because of the blood of Jesus, we have the power of God among us. As a commandment by Jesus and the apostles, we now baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you. All right, go ahead and go that way. Next person, after this, it's up to you to live holy and live righteously and continue in the Word of God. So, Lourdes, we're going to baptize you in Jesus' name right now. Hold your nose. So we baptize her right now. Lourdes, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of her sins. We now baptize Rebecca in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of her sins. Jesus, Lord God, I pray that you continue to lead and guide Rebecca, God. So I now baptize him in the precious name of Jesus Christ for the remission of his sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just lift your hands and praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Give me a hug, brother. Amen. All right, let's do this. We're done. Anyone else? You want to go a second time? No. Okay. Well, praise the Lord. Jeremy has been willing to be baptized in Jesus' name. Were you ever baptized in the titles? Yes, sir. He, like myself, were, was baptized in the titles, and we came to an understanding that all power resides in the name of Jesus Christ. So he's being obedient to Jesus' commands, Matthew 28, 19, where Jesus tells us to go out and preach the gospel and baptize them in the name, singular, of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Peter listened to his, his, his Lord and Savior, and on the day of Pentecost, he baptized those people in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Christ. I now baptize him in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of his sins. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you, Jeremy. Okay, Mandy is going to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. She, like myself again, was, ba was baptized in titles, Father, Son, Holy Ghost which was incorrect, to obey the command of Jesus Christ, we baptize in His name, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, like the apostles did on the day of Pentecost and throughout the first century church until it was perverted right around late third or fourth century AD. I now baptize Mandy in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of her sins. So I now baptize Melissa in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of her sin. We're going to baptize her because she was previously baptized in titles. And thank God, Brother Clinton, he led uh, this family our way. And um, we were here outreaching and we decided, well, they're here. Well, we're here and we met together and we're going to baptize them in Jesus' name. And she's going to do it in accordance to the Word of God. So, Amanda? Amanda? Okay, right now we're going to baptize Amanda in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of her sins. Lord, if you want me to preach, if you want me to sing, if you want me to testify, I'll be a light to the dying world, yeah, Lord. Use me, Lord, any way that you see fit, use me, Lord. Amen, amen. 
Amen. God bless you, man. Amen. Amen. Anyone else?